So based on that definition, that every x value has only one y value, that is why the vertical line test works. Okay, so just to jog your memory, if a vertical line is passed over the graph and it only touches one point of the graph at a time, that graph represents a function. So for example, let's look at the function x plus 3, and I'm, there we go, there's my vertical line. Okay, x plus 3 is a linear function, just a quick review of that terminology. But if I take my vertical line here and I pass it over my entire graph, at every instance, it is only touching the function or touching the graph at one point. So right here, it's only touching the graph at that y value. Okay, if I move it over here, it's only touching the graph at that y value. So x plus 3, yes, absolutely is a function. x squared plus 1. If I take this vertical line over here and I pass it along my graph, same thing. At all times, at every x value, I'm only touching one y value. So that one is also a function. Uh, notice I'm using the functions that we have been using as examples. Uh, the square root of x minus 2. Now, it doesn't exist way over here to the left, but where my graph does start, and for any point past that, it clearly passes the vertical line test. Now, right here, right at the beginning, it might be a little iffy. Um, it does look kind of vertical right there, uh, but if you were to zoom in on the graph, you would see that uh, you still only have one y value for every x value. Uh, the absolute value of x, it passes the vertical line test. Okay, so those four functions right there, they all represent, and I'm going to draw a little line right here. These are all functions. Are functions. The two examples there at the bottom, we've got a circle. So there are a bunch of different places that I can put this vertical line on this circle and it clearly fails the vertical line test. Because over here I've got it at like negative 1.5. We've got a y value down here, we've got a y value up here. It touches the graph at two places. I can move it just about anywhere, and it's going to be touching the graph at two places. So that circle is not a function. The other example I have, it looks like a parabola turned on its side. Uh, obviously, it fails the vertical line test as well. Um, just about everywhere, every x has more than one y. So these two are not functions. Sure, there's clearly a relationship between the x values and the y values uh, because a pattern is created that creates these graphs. So we call it a relation, but it's not a function. Okay, it's not a function. So that should be kind of the math one review. But what we're going to look at with math three is, well, what if they don't give you a graph? What if they just give you a set of points? And you've got to decide, is this set of points just simply a relation, or does it pass the function test and it is a, an actual function? So let's look at a relation A here. We've got negative 2, 3, negative 1, 4, negative 2, negative 3, and 0, negative 1. Now, some people need the visual to help them uh, determine whether this is a function or not, and that is absolutely fine. If you want to do just a quick sketch of the points, um, negative 2, positive 3 would be about right here, negative 1, positive 4, negative 2, negative 3, and 0, negative 1. Now, it's not a super accurate graph, but it does illustrate to me that right here, if I pull my, my vertical line down here, and it's not exactly online like it should be, but close enough, there are two y values for the x value of negative 2. Okay, Our definition, if you look back at the top of your page, every x value has only one y value. We'll look at this relation. One x value, x equals negative 2, two different y values. 
So relation A is not a function. Relation B, when we look at that list, we've got negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 1, and 1, 4. I don't see any repeated x values. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. So nothing repeated, so this one is a function. Okay, relation B is a function. If you want to sketch those points real quick just to prove it to yourself, that's fine. Uh, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 1, and 1, 4. Clearly that passes the vertical line test. Okay. Now, outside of these points, there may be a problem, but just based on the information that we're given here, we would say that that is a function. 